There's a specific part of your Google local listing that cannot be edited without putting in a certain provider. And this is kind of confusing. I've had a couple of different business owners ask me about this and uh, specifically a, a, one of, a pizza company that I, I do work for. Um, he was asking about these little buttons that are like order pickup or order delivery. And they're nice big blue buttons, like really prominent featured on his Google local listing. And he wanted to change that to his website so they could go there instead of going to slice.com, which is like a, a pizza ordering company. And uh, basically you can't change those. You can, you can delete them completely, but you can't make it go to your own website those are special prominent features that uh, that the like slice.com and like uh, like my doctor he he uses zocdoc.com uh, which is like for his scheduling and that has a nice like prominent feature it says like the date and everything like that it looks really nice and he's like oh I want to be able to use that for my own scheduler well no you can't do that because slice.com and zocdoc they have contracts with Google in order to get these premium positions on those pages. And they're probably paying Google, you know, who knows, millions of dollars to get those premium positions. So you can either remove them completely from your profile and just have like your website and have like a link to where they can get the appointments, or you can have those on there and then you're gonna pay those third parties like a high fee for every single time somebody uses it um, if you want the, the, you know, the nice looking layout that they have. So. Hopefully that's not too confusing. It's basically, it's part of your Google local page. If you scroll down a little bit to the middle of the page, there's gonna be like, if you are if you have appointments, you know, you might be like a ZocDoc or like, you know, a scheduler, some type of scheduling plugin, Calendly maybe, um, that has a special connection uh, with Google that allows you to get that really nice looking layout. It could be big buttons, it could be a nice little calendar section. And there's no way to edit that so that you can put in your own information in there. You gotta remove it completely. Uh, or if you have it, then you're gonna be paying those third parties for that fee. So I just wanna make this video to clarify because I've had several business owners ask me about how to do that. And basically, you know, both of the two owners that asked me the same question, we came to the same resolution, which is that you can't edit those. You could remove them completely. And both owners decided that, okay, well, let's just keep them up because it is kind of nice to have that as offer that to the customers. And I guess I'll pay that third party, you know, whatever it is, 15% of the transaction or, you know, I think ZocDoc charges like 30 or $40 per lead that comes in or whatever. They're, they're quite expensive for the businesses, but they, you know, that part of that goes to marketing to Google so that they can get that prominent feature. Uh, anyways, hopefully that clarifies some of that for you on your Google local profile. If you have more questions about your Google local profile, it's very confusing, very hard, very challenging to get all the different things lined up. Uh, that's something I specialize in and I can definitely help you. I've created other videos about how to get your page reactivated, how to add data, how to add social media profiles. I got a lot of videos about Google local listings and how to optimize them and how to work on them. Um, and I'm an expert in that field. If you need help, definitely reach out to me or check out some of my other videos about it. Uh, but as I always say at the end of the videos, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.